Okay, so we were constructing. We were looking at the possibility of constructing a right angle triangle inside of our scenario. And because Z is due east of Y, there's no angle for the bearing of Z from Y. Thus, if we would draw a perpendicular on the line Y to Z that intersected point X, we know that this would be right angle. These would be right angles. No matter where X is. Now we don't, don't make any, we don't make any assumptions for the angle created on the left of this perpendicular or on the right. We don't make an assumption for the size of that angle here or here. But if we were to try and rationalize these angles inside of here and inside of here, and if we were to split this 125, say in a secondary diagram, because y, because z and y are related to the other, or west and east, and there's no angle in the bearing, then we know that the angle at Z is 20. We know that this angle here is 90. And we then calculate this angle here. This should be similar to our formula. 90 plus 20, 110. 110 from 180, 70. Well, that's just in case we need to calculate that angle. And similarly for this one, we know that the angle at point Y is 35. So we have a 35 in here. We have a 35 and 90. That's what, 125 from 180, 55. So, how many can check it back? 70 plus 55 is 125. Yeah? Now the question isn't going to tell us all of this, but in our understanding of these types of questions, these are some of the things that will come to our minds automatically and we prove, we know for certain that this is in fact 70 plus 55 because they tell us that Z is due east of Y. Hence, there's no angle between the bearing of Z from Y. Hence, a perpendicular drawn on the YZ line that intersects X must give us 90 degrees. On this side, on the right side of the perpendicular and on the left side. Yeah? Okay. Well, that's any question we're going to know. What else is the question tell us? Is the question done giving us information? Yes. There's no more information, and we have totally understood what the scenario is, as well as the possibilities for other right angles that could be constructed in this diagram that could possibly help us figure out the answers to some of the questions they might ask. Typically, it's good to be able to know where the right angle would be and any subsequent sub-angles because then we can use sine, cosine and tan and tangent because those, those require that you must have a right angle somewhere in your triangle Right, so we've totally rationalized the scenario Ok, what's the first question? Rationalizing the scenario, we have actually answered a couple of the questions. The first one being to copy the diagram onto your paper and show clearly the 35 degree, the 125 degree. Next question. Now, that's that's an important consideration. Yeah, they are asking us to figure out or they are telling us that y, x, z is an angle 
Now, in this notation, y at z being some angle, I'm going to put a question mark, with some amount of degrees. What does that mean? The middle x is, let's say, the pivot connecting y and z. So this angle, y, x, z, is the angle at point x because x is the center, the pivot of the two, and we are thus referring to y, x as the pivot, z. Thus, we have this angle here. So if I were, if I were to ask you, what is the, the size of the angle z, y, x? Z, Y, X is equal to how many degrees? Because Y is the pivot of the points Z and X. Y is the pivot. Yeah, but why would it have to be the size of the angle there they gave us? Well, what did they give us? They are asking us to, to determine the size of the angle Y, X, Z. Y, X, Z is this one here. And they already told us that. The bearing of Z, sorry, the bearing of X from Y. Oh, cool, that's this one. Right, the bearing of Z from X is 125. Alright, so it's likely to be a misprint because we already know the size of the angle Y, X, Z is 125. What, what the question should have asked, you tell me. Y, Z, X, or X, Z, Y. So, that's important. That's important to note. Z, Y, X is Y at the center being the pivot for the lines Y, Z, and Y, X because Y is at the center. No. So, wait. Y, X, Z. No, Y, X, Z is this one here. X is the pivot. Now, Y, X, Z is the same as Z, X, Y because of the fact that x is in the center. So we know that y, x, z is equivalent, and I'm going to use the equivalent notation, y, x, z is equivalent to z, x, y. Merely for the reason that x is the pivot of those other two points. And sometimes in notation you might see like a little carrot on top of the center point, the center center point. Alright, so like the question is asking us to determine the size of the angle x, z, y. And just for the record, z, y, x, z, y, x is 35. Because y is the center, y is the pivot of the lines here and here. So the pivot looks like that. So z, y, x is 35, and x, z, y, x, z, y, which we figured out in our rationalization of the scenario. This is an x. x, z, y is equal to 20 degrees. So we've answered the second part of the question.